Yeah, I'm really happy I play an amazing match. I mean, I try to be there, to be focused every point. And yeah, I mean, I'm so happy. I beat Sabalenka, she's a great player, so yeah. Absolutely. Okay, we'll do English questions first. Courtney? Jasmine, congratulations. Um, what do you think was the key today? What was it about your game that you think frustrated Arena? Uh, I think I tried to to return deep balls, you know, to to try to to make uh, body serves because it was tough for me to keep her, you know, um, far from the baseline because she's standing so close to the to the court. She's hitting, especially the first ball, very very hard. So, yeah, just trying to keep her as far as I can from the court and to. Yeah, to play many balls as possible because I think she's so strong at the first ball. I mean, serve and return. So I think that was the key. Your first top 10 win, biggest win of your career at a very big tournament uh, that you've done well at before, my third round last year. What does this mean, this win over Arena, what does it mean for you? Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, yeah, uh, I, I didn't play very well this year. I mean, at the beginning in Australia, and so I tried just to, to know to fight every point, just to make, to come through, to I mean, have a better condition. I think here I like the the weather, I like the courts, so it helped a little bit, I think. And I had also good memories from last year. So yeah, I think it means a lot this 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 win. Be also because I never won against a top player, so top ten player. So yeah. When when you lost the first set, what were you thinking? And uh, were you feeling anxious? Did you feel pressure? And then how did you actually turn it around? Yeah, I mean, I didn't after the first set. I didn't expect to win the match, but I'm. I tried just to be there every point, you know, to. To be just right there every point, to don't think about the the score because I mean the score was six two for her and I mean I wasn't even close to, to to her. But then point by point I started to believe it. You know I started to hit hit better the ball deep in on the court. So yeah, yeah. I feel like after this I feel I feel well on the court. So. Um, how I know you said you've never beaten a top 10 player before, but when you went into the match, what were your emotions, what were your feelings like when you also maybe realized that Sabalenka can be so up and down and her serve can be all over the place and things like that? I think I stepped on the court to try to win the match because I, if you don't think this before the match, you are not going to win for sure. So uh, yeah, she's uh, she's not a regular player. She's a player that can hit very strong, many winners. But it's not easy to play every point, you know, full power. So yeah, I try to to stay there to to play my game, you know. Uh, like Brubsky said one time, tennis is not just to play. Uh, to hit strong the ball is also doing something different. I I think I just try to run to put the ball as deep as I can, and sometimes also make I made some winners. So yeah, I'm happy with my performance. Kevin, you said you haven't played very well this year and until today, but your ranking is in the top 50 now and you've made a lot of progress over the last couple of seasons. I wonder if you could tell me why you think you've been able to make these strides. What have you improved in your game? I think I have more confidence on hard courts and I work a lot with the, um, um, I don't know how is the, the, a guy who make video, video analysis, yeah. And yeah, that's I think was the key. I mean, I 
before last year I I didn't believe that I could play also on hard courts. So I was playing pretty well in, on uh, clay courts, but I had difficulties on hard courts. And now I think I believe that I can play also here. So I think that's the key because more tournaments are on hard courts instead. I mean instead of clay courts. So. I have more chances to do points, and that gave me confidence, I think, during the year, yeah. What specifically does it take for you to have success on the faster surface like a hard court? I think I improve a little bit the serve. I still have to improve it, I know. And also the forehand, because I need time to hit the forehand well. So, uh, yeah, I worked a lot on, on my forehand and on my serve. They are, they, they, I think I can... Uh, improve uh, more, but I'm trying to do every day, so it's not gonna be easy. But come on, I'm here to do it. <laughs> Jasmine, you talked about the video analysis. Yeah. What did you see in the video analysis that something that maybe surprised you, or something that you saw that you said, okay, I need to work to change this specific thing? What was the most impact? Uh, I think, yeah, as I said, the serve and the, the forehand, I, I, I didn't work on, on a match analysis. I work on the shot, you know. And yeah, I try to open a little bit less and um, um, lower the forehand and try to, because I was doing the, 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 the final, uh, I don't know the name. Yeah. I f not not here, but all, most of the time here, and the serve as well. I was, yeah. I, I have to improve my serve, like percentage, and also the you know the spin. The I cannot play flat because I'm 160 and centimeters, so <laughs> I have to be more precise to yeah and to improve the percentage. That's. That's what, what are we working on. I, and I know that uh, obviously a lot of you guys in Italy grow up on the clay. It is your most comfortable surface, but you have players in the past who have had great success on the hard courts, Flavia and, and Roberta and things. How much does that give you confidence that you can transition and alter, your, uh, make changes to your clay court game to have good success and consistent success on the hard courts? Uh, I think they made an amazing job. I mean, but when I, like two years ago, uh, there were many players on in the top ten, women players, and because they, uh, they stopped and we started. I mean, me, uh, Martina, Camila. Okay, well, she was already there. Martina Trevisan, but they retired and then we came. So it wasn't easy because the. There, w there weren't players from Italy there, you know, in the middle that that could show us what to do. So it wasn't that easy. But yeah, I think now, uh, I mean, I'm working on myself. So I don't know how much this helped me. But for sure, they made an amazing job. <laughs> All hard courts are different in terms of speed and the way they bounce. I just wonder, how do you feel about the hard courts here at Indian Wells? Is this a good hard court for you? I think so. I think so because it's not really fast. So uh, yeah, I have time to hit forehand and backhand. And but you know, now I think I like the hard courts because yeah, I can serve good. I mean, better than on clay. I can move well. But this court for me, I I think are especially especially good. You, you might be the first person to sit in a press conference and quote Jensen Brooksby <laughs> back to the reporters. So I'm curious, how do you, are you like a tennis nerd? Do you read a lot of quotes and, and are you? Uh, not there? really, but okay. when I read this title, uh, yeah, it stayed in my mind, you know? And I remember also in another match that I thought this, that tennis is not just hitting winners and 
strong the ball. And yeah, today during the, the match, I repeat this to me, yeah, because it's important. I think for me it's important, I mean, to, to keep it here in my mind.